Hello everyone, I am Samir Brindo. Currently, I am data scientist at Aquilae, French company working on image and video processing. I have made my PhD on abnormal event detection in video streams under supervision of Professor Hisham Smith. I am going to present you our work entitled G2D, Generate to Detect Anomaly. <coughs> our work is related to anomaly detection. Traditionally, anomaly detection methods are based on the construction of normal model according to a number of criteria with objective of detecting the elements that do not match this model. However, the variety and the complexity of the normal data make the training process of such solution very complex, and the scarcity of total or total absence of abnormal training samples leads to the occurrence of many false positives. For this reason, the key idea of G2D is generating unseen or irregular samples by using GAN. For generating abnormal samples, we focused on the well-known generative and virtual network, GAN. This network generates samples with the same distribution of training ones, which is in our case are related to normal data. As we can see in the figure, during the learning process, the ability of the generator network to create data similar to the target class is gradually improving. Regarding this analysis, we decide to benefit from the training process of GAN for generating outliers. In this figure, we can see in blue the TCN representation of the data generated by GAN trained on sample belonging to the target class at different stages of training process. As we can see, in earlier epoch, the GAN produces sample completely different from the normal ones. But after a few epochs, both types of samples are getting close to each other gradually. The anomaly generator denoted I network in our work is jointly and inertially trained with discriminator network denoted C. On normal class data, in the training process, several representations generated by K different images of the I network saved in different stages of the learning process are considered as the generated irregularities and used during the detection process. Selecting K networks of and different saved model as regularity generators can be done in two ways. The first one, by using validation set, including both normal and abnormal data, abnormal, abnormal data, and a uh, similar solution by analyzing the network I, and principally by focusing to the loss of this network. In reality, there are not any samples from outlayer class. Hence, using validation samples is not possible. Regarding the anomaly detector, DNet denoted here D network is binary classifier trained on all of the available normal samples and the irregular sample generated by the generator network. Having selected k different models for the network I and each model can generate m different samples, we obtain m by k samples in addition to normal data. In this slide, we can see experimental results obtained on two different datasets. The first one is MNIST. The first figure shows the comparison of F1 score on MNIST dataset for different percentage of outlayer samples. This figure confirms that our method has better performance in terms of F1 score compared to other state-of-art methods. We obtain also the second best result on the pedestrian 2 dataset. The best result is obtained by method denoted deep cascade. However, it is good to notice that unlike the other approaches that benefit from both spatial and temporal complex features, our proposed method operates only on 2D patches extracted from images. Finally, we tested our method on Caltech dataset. The performance metrics of this experiment are F1 score and area under curve, RC. The results listed in this table confirm that G2D performed at least as good as the other solution for high or performs them in many cases. We conclude our presentation by saying that G2D is a general purpose framework for the one class classification task, which can easily fit to various range of problems. However, we have achieved comparable and even better results than other state of our methods. Usually, if we customize our algorithm by some modification in the size and uh, the order of convolutional layers for specific purpose application, the final performance improves. G2D is an unsupervised method since it used only normal data, which comes from the training dataset, and generate by himself abnormal samples. In our method, irregularity detection is only performed by detector network. Hence, there is an end-to-end -end architecture which is able of processing an image or video data with lower complexity than the other previously proposed method. To finish, we point out that 
The G2G method can also serve to generate normal samples in order to do that augmentation. Thank you.